Thank you for viewing the San Francisco Planning Department's scoping meeting presentation for the Lake Merced West project. The Planning Department is responsible for conducting review under the California Environmental Quality Act, or CEQA, for all projects in San Francisco. This scoping meeting is an early step in the CEQA review process for the project. This step notifies the public that the Planning Department is preparing an Environmental Impact Report, or EIR, and that we welcome your comments concerning the project's environmental effects by July 9th. As a brief overview, the Lake Merced West project would create a new public recreational facility that would provide a wide array of recreational activities, including trail use, picnicking, paddle boarding, kayaking, fishing, fitness activities, a ropes course, bird watching, space for outdoor exercise, a skateboard park, multi-use courts for basketball and other activities, as well as restaurant dining and indoor space for gatherings, such as community meetings and birthday parties. My name is Julie Moore, and I'm an environmental planner with the San Francisco Planning Department. I am the coordinator of the EIR for this project. I will begin with an overview of the CEQA process, then I'll turn it over to Jackie Suen and Chris Town from Wrecking Park, who will describe the project background and proposed design features. Much more detail is available in the NOP. I'll then return to address the environmental review schedule and how you can participate. The planning department leads the CEQA process for city projects in compliance with state law or statute, state guidelines, and local requirements. The CEQA guidelines provide the framework for how to implement environmental review and the San Francisco admin code mandates our local procedures, including public outreach. The purpose of CEQA is to inform decision makers and the public of the project's environmental effects, to engage the public in the environmental review process, to disclose potential project impacts on the environment, and to avoid or reduce potential environmental impacts with mitigation measures or alternatives. Environmental review is conducted for a project prior to any final decision regarding whether or not to approve the project. The planning department has determined that an environmental impact report or EIR is needed for the Lake Merced West project because it may have a significant effect on the environment. The EIR will focus on the project's significant effects and will include an initial study that discusses project effects that would be less than significant. We know from previous environmental studies that the project would have a significant effect on historic resources. Therefore, the EIR will be focused on that topic and will include alternatives that would reduce project effects on historic resources. The EIR, including the initial study, will assess environmental impacts related to a full range of topics shown here, such as air quality, noise, biological resources, hazardous materials, water quality, and transportation and circulation. For each topic, it will describe the existing environment at the project site and vicinity, and then analyze the project's impacts to the existing environment and cumulative conditions. Cumulative conditions are the combined effects on the environment assuming adoption of this project and other reasonably foreseeable projects in the vicinity. Before I pass this over to Jackie, I will orient you to the project location. As you can see on this slide, the project site is located on the southern bank of Lake Merced's South Lake. It is approximately 11 acres in size, adjacent to John Muir Drive, just east of Skyline Boulevard. The site has been closed to the public since 2015. It contains the remains of the former tenant, the Pacific Rod and Gun Club, which includes several small one-story buildings and four skeet shooting fields, the semicircular features you see in the center. 
So now I'd like to introduce one of the project managers, Jackie Suen of Rec and Park. Thank you, Julie. Hello, everyone. I'm Jackie Suen with the San Francisco Recreation and Park Department. Thank you for taking the time today to learn about the Lake Merced West project. The project site is located on the southern shore of Lake Merced and is owned by the city and county of San Francisco and is under jurisdiction of the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission and managed by the Recreation and Park Department. It is the former location of the Pacific Rod and Gun Club, which operated skeet and trap shooting facilities from 1934 to 2015. The site is eligible for listing on the National Register of Historic Places and the California Register of Historic Resources at the local level of significance under criterion A1 for its association with the broad pattern of history related to the increased popularity of sport hunting and with the interrelated development of skeet during the period it evolved from a type of shooting practice into a competitive sport that occurred during the decades preceding World War II and within the context of the early 20th century wildlife conservation movement. Next slide, please. Uh, Lake Merced is an emergency non-potable water supply for San Francisco. From 1934 through 1994, the Pacific Rod and Gun Club used lead pellets as shot, which resulted in about 27 tons of lead in the lake per year. Lead pellets and targets containing polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons have also been found in the upland areas. After the club vacated the site, the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission performed an extensive cleanup program between May 2015 and April 2016, which included the excavation of soil to depths ranging from 1 foot to 10 feet. About 88,000 tons of contaminated material was hauled to a landfill and the site has been backfilled with clean soil. The Regional Water Quality Control Board approved the cleanup for unrestricted future use of the site. Next slide, please. As you can see in this aerial photograph, there are the four remaining skeet fields labeled four through seven. And also highlighted in yellow are the four other remaining historic landscape features. The, all of the buildings on site are in poor condition. Uh, my colleague Chris Towns will now give an overview of the project description. Thank you, Jackie. Here is the proposed site plan for the Lake Merced West project, uh, which would create a recreational facility on an approximately 11 acre site located at 520 John Muir Drive on the southwest side of Lake Merced. During the design and development phase, the Recreation and Park Department considered multiple site layout concepts, which led to the proposed site plan, aimed at minimizing area devoted to vehicular circulation in order to maximize open space while accommodating a variety of recreational activities on the site. As you can see, facilities are clustered around the main parking area towards the center of the site to facilitate access for a variety of users, while allowing for pockets of open space between buildings, as well as larger expanses of open space at both ends of the site and along the shoreline. The main buildings and terrace are situated at the optimal topographic location to take advantage of scenic lake views and enhance the user experience. The facility would offer an array of activities open to the public, such as trail use, picnicking, paddle boarding, kayaking, fishing, fitness activities, a ropes course, bird watching, skateboarding, multi-use courts for basketball and other activities, as well as restaurant dining and indoor space for gatherings, such as community meetings and birthday parties. A new community building and restaurant would be built near the center of the site. A new boathouse and arborist office and yard are also proposed at the southeastern end of the site along with new restrooms on the west side of the site. Next slide, please. Here is the proposed site plan uh, with legend to highlight and differentiate areas of new construction, existing elements to be retained, new landscape features, and historic resource contributing features. The various buildings and programmatic spaces are numbered and labeled in the legend below. As you can see, new construction includes a community building, a restaurant, the SFPUC Arborist Facility, a boathouse and dock, a playground, a skate park, 
a viewing deck, and a public restroom. An existing element to be retained, which is also a historic resource contributing feature, includes Skeet Field 4, which will be rehabilitated and adaptively reused as a picnic area. New landscape features include a challenge course, basketball and multi-use court, and multi-use lawn areas. Next slide, please. This slide provides photographs of some of the architectural examples that conceptually inspired the proposed design. This example is of the Sea Ranch development in unincorporated Sonoma County, California, located along the Pacific coast, about 100 miles north of San Francisco. The proposed project was particularly inspired by the Sea Ranch's successful architectural relationship with its unique landscape and topography, as well as its preservation of open space. The bottom of the slide provides a site section taken through the proposed restaurant building to better illustrate how the unique downsloping topography of the project site traverses its various programmatic spaces from John Muir Drive to the Lake Merced Edge, and how the proposed restaurant building and its associated patio terrace is strategically situated to maximize views of Lake Merced. Next slide, please. Here is a plan view of the existing project site with a legend depicting areas where trees are to be removed or, or disturbed. As you can see, the majority of the existing trees remain in place. However, the trees at the southeastern end along John Muir Drive will be removed in order to accommodate new vehicular entry and circulation into the SFPUC Arborist Facility and new landscaping. That concludes my portion of the presentation. I'll now pass it to Julie Moore from the San Francisco Environmental Planning Department to cover the project's CEQA review process. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Now I'll talk about the project CEQA review process. The first step of the EIR process was the issuance of a notice of preparation or NOP of an EIR and notice of a public scoping meeting. We mailed this notice on June 9th and are requesting oral or written comments on the scope of the EIR by Friday, July 9th. The NOP is available on the planning department website, sfplanning.org backslash sfsequadocs. That's S-F-C-E-Q-A-D-O-C-S. We will host a virtual scoping meeting on June 23rd, which will consist of this presentation followed by an opportunity for individuals to provide oral comments. Or you can submit written comments by letter or email until July 9th. This review period is your opportunity to provide early comments concerning the potential environmental effects of this project. Your comments should focus on significant environmental issues regarding this project and information that would help the environmental analysis. The planning department will consider the comments received during this 30-day period to inform the scope of the draft EIR. Please note that written responses to comments received during the EIR scoping period will not be prepared. The next step of the EIR process will be publication of the draft EIR, including initial study. Our current schedule anticipates that we will publish the draft EIR this fall or winter. We will distribute a notice of availability of the draft EIR to interested parties. You will have an opportunity to provide input on the draft EIR during a 45 day public comment period, including at a public hearing at the Planning Commission. Following the close of the draft EIR comment period, the Planning Department will prepare a comments and responses document. This document will contain written responses to all substantive comments received during the draft EIR review period. It will also identify any changes to the draft EIR as necessary to fully respond to the comments received. The comments and responses document will be distributed to those who commented on the draft EIR, various agencies and other interested parties at least 10 days prior to a planning commission hearing on the final EIR. The final EIR will consist of the draft EIR together with the comments and responses document. The Planning Commission will consider whether to certify the final EIR as adequate, accurate, and objective. 
Certification of the EIR would not mean that the project is approved or disapproved. Rather, it would only satisfy the CEQA environmental review requirements for the proposed project. Project approval or disapproval is a completely separate consideration from the adequacy of the EIR. Permits and approvals for the project would be required from numerous local, state, and federal agencies, including the Rec and Parks Department, the SFPUC, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, the California Regional Water Quality Control Board, and the US Army Corps of Engineers. To recap, the planning department is preparing an EIR for the Lake Merced West project. We will host a virtual scoping meeting on June 23rd at 6.30 p.m. For details on how to register for the scoping meeting or to review the notice of preparation, please go to sfplanning.org backslash sfsequadocs. The Zoom meeting details are also shown on the screen. For meeting reg registration, it's bit.ly, B-I-T period L-Y backslash Lake Merced West. Or if you'd like to join the meeting by phone, you can just dial 888-788-0099 and the meeting ID is 848-5205-8374. To request language services for the meeting, please call 628-652-7550 at least 72 hours in advance of the meeting to ensure availability. Again, the intent of the scoping meeting is for the planning department to hear from you regarding the environmental analysis for the project. You don't have to attend the scoping meeting to provide the planning department comments. You may email your comments to cpc.lakemercedwesteir at sfgov.org or mail your comments to, Ju to me, Julie Moore, San Francisco Planning Department, 49 South Van S Avenue, Suite 1400, San Francisco 94103. Please remember to do so by July 9th. Uh, thank you very much for joining us for this uh, presentation and for your interest in the project and uh, take care. <laughs>